welcome to this channel IBMI classes in this video session we'll discuss that how we can convert a load also file to a single piece of file uh, in previous videos we discussed uh, about coding a load also file and converting that load also file to the expandable sub file so you can refer the detailing of those videos in the previous uh, those uh, sub files in the previous videos uh, for now I'm just going to through the load also file and then I'm going to convert that load all to single piece of file. So this is the code for the load also file. So this is the display file. You can see this is the sub file recall format where we are referring these fields from the student file. Now this is the sub file control format which is based on the SFL RFMT. Sub file size and SFL page is different in this case. SFL display, ESP CTL, SFL record number. Record number is just used to um, for that enter key handling so that we could pass the current RRN to the sub file record number and then we could uh, control the display of the current screen in case if we press enter from the keyboard either on page 2, page 3 or on any page we should be on the same page, same page at that time. You should not navigate to the first page so this is the display file and this was the program we are using the file information data structure to fetch the current RRN and then passing this to the um, sub file record number in case of enter key handling so sub file is a two step process so in a hurry way I, I would say that loading and then displaying so this is the display part which is executed every time this is after that a display we are processing the keyboard keys whatever the keys are pressed on the keyboard so loading part is done uh, inside the initialization subroutine as we can say, see here so this is the loading subroutine so we are, we are reading the, uh, the sub student file and we are loading all the record at once in the sub file uh, record format because this is a load all sub file and we will be loading till sub file size value reaches which is set as 100 here so this is the subroutine to process the keyboard keys so where we are handling the F3 key and the enter key so in case of enter key we are passing the current minimum RN of the record uh, to the sub file record number so let's just simply call this page down, page down, page down, no further records, page up, page up, page up, no prior records, page down, then press enter here, or page down again, then press enter here, so we are not navigating to the first page, so we have seen that we have uh, handled all the functions, we have did the proper handling in the load all sub file, now we are going to convert this load all sub file to the this one to the single piece of file just create a copy of the load also file with file 4 just renaming them load all single page load all to single piece of file sure. now what we are doing here we are just we are not going to change this one record format of the sub file we are making the changes here so we are setting this as 4 because the sub file page and sub file size is same in case of uh, a single piece of file so here yeah, just repeat this line 20 or let's say this one is 30 so in this case we are using SFL clear keyword uh, which is activated once uh, 20 indicators set as on now here we are using Uh, 
पेज अप एंड पेज डाउन पेज अप सो वी आर सेटिंग द इंडिकेटर एस फोर्टी फॉर पेज अप फॉर पेज डाउन वी आर सेटिंग इंडिकेटर फिफ्टी इन ऑर्डर सो वी कैन वी आर कैन यूज रॉल डाउन हेयर फॉर पेज अप वी कैन यूज रॉल अप हेयर विच इज द अल्टरनेटिव की वर्ल्ड फॉर दिस वन so we have seen that uh, we have included page up page down keywords we have included specify clear to clear the sub file we have uh, include uh, we have changed the sub file size and sub file page uh, to be the same in case of single page sub file so this is the um, uh, you can say one two three four line change uh, one line change and three new lines are included or three new keywords are included in the single page sub file now we will be compiling this So now it becomes a single page sub file. So sub file four has been created. Now, now did the changes in this code. Now this is a sub file four. So we are doing this as sub file four. Everything would be the same. so in in case of single page sub file we are loading the sfl page number of uh, records at a time or sfl size number of record at a time because sfl page and size are same in case of single page sub file so rn could not be more than that so for that total number of record we are taking total records here to Know the total number of records that has been loaded till now after uh, some number of page down or page ups. We'll be taking a simple variable for uh, looping. Total records loop index. Executing a loop. We are setting the SFL page value here as a constant. We are not hard coding the uh, them in code, so we are using this constant keyword. Constant variables here are. Uh, The conditions as a cell size as four will be needing further variables, so we will be declaring uh, um, as per their usage. So this thing will be the same in this case also uh, while displaying the single page of file. So in case of single page of file, we will be setting the SFL RIN as one at the initialization subroutine. So we are not going to Do this here. So first step is load. So just first comes to the load. And don't do don't come to the load. First see here. So after uh, the records gets loaded. So at the first time you are on the first page. So you cannot do the page up. At that time, so initialization routine will be executed automatically without. a uh, needing to call that in the program and uh, so for that matter uh, we as page up deactivated for the first time show sure. so for that matter page up we have used star i98 with that so we are setting this as on so in this case we cannot use the page up uh, key on the keyboard so it has been deactivated after the first load and first display so once we have displayed the first record we are not able to do the page up we can do the page down so for the load one purpose so we are setting the indicator 98 as of 98 is for page up means 
no prior records to load I'm just writing the comments for the information purpose uh, this is for page down no further uh, end of file reached for this one um, no further records to load further records to load and then indicated 20 and then 30 just removing this sorry this one um, this is for a clear sub file and for display sub file display sub file records huh? uh, display sub file records if any now we are not setting the sub file around here just moving from here we are initially using the RRN as 0 every time every time we load uh, a, number, a particular number of records that is equal to the SFS read or SFS size we are clearing the RN. we are setting the RN as 0 every time because RN could not be more than uh, that SFL page value if that goes beyond that the device or session or device error will come that scenario so RN will be 0 in this case so uh, initialization subroutine we set this one as 1 so we'll be setting the total records also total records as 0 here right now so that will get be that will get loaded inside this one or incremented inside this one total records equals total records plus one show just come down so we are not going to write this here so before that what we are doing we are not going to read the full uh, file so we are going to just remove this one we are not needing this so we have taken the loop variable so so we'll be setting that loop as one initially then we are executing that loop till less than equal to SFL page so we have defined the constant there for that whose value is 4 set as 4 now we are executing this till SFL page so we are removing this one and we are using if condition here in case of if condition we will be checking here this one writing the records in the subfile format so this is not required anymore because we are doing the subfile format and we, we don't have such number of records anymore because we have always four records in the subfile because we are clearing the subfile so before loading that subfile what we are doing we are clearing the subfile clear subfile So for clearing the subfile we need to set the indicator in 20 which is associated with the subfile clear keyword as on and then we need to write the subfile control record format sfl ctl rfmt 
and then set star this as a star off so that we could not display the empty subfile always. So in loading sub load subroutine we are just uh, setting these indicators as initializing these indicators RRN and then we are clearing the sub file and then we are reading the loop till SFL page reading the file till SFL page or end of file case this one so we are um, setting the RRN total number of records writing the records in the sub file record format using write uh, SFL RSMT so in case SFL Rn is greater than 0, then IN30 is set as on. Means display subfile records if at least one record, one record loaded, loaded in subfile. This is the case, just remove this one. Do while and do. Now, this is the if condition. If there were no records found in the file, so we'll go into the else part. Else part in that case. So here we are uh, implementing the loop by loop plus 1. So, so in that case we are going into the else part. So no records, no further records have been found for loading. So in that case we are setting the indicator 99 as on which is uh, basically for end of file no further records because load and then leaving this loop sure and if and do so in case of uh, rrn is 0 so in that case we are setting the rrn is 0 in case there is no subfile record gets loaded into file now this is the loading part so once go through that we have modified the load subroutine so we are setting the uh, initializing the indicators rrn then we are clearing the subfile then we are uh, reading uh, the file in the loop till sfl page uh, value so either end of file reach or SFL value value will get reached first. So in case end, uh, SFL value gets reached, we are writing in the subfile records into the subfile format and then we are uh, setting the RI and total number of records. In case RI indicator than 0, then we are setting the SFL display keyword indicator as on. Means there are some records to be displayed on the in case one record is there in the subfile. To load uh, to be displayed, so we are setting indicate 30 as on incrementing the loop one by one. In case end of file reach, so we'll be going into the else part and setting the indicator 99 as on, uh, 99 as on, which is for page down. So, page down cannot be done for uh, uh, after that. So, we are leaving the loop here. So, in case if there is no record uh, that's loaded, so we are setting the SFLRN as zero. Now this is the uh, load part. So in the initialization subroutine, we are uh, loading the sub uh, sub file and then we are setting the indicator 98 as of page up is deactivated at the first page. Once the first page gets displayed, page up is deactivated in that case. Now we are displaying the sub file uh, here using sub file control format. 
now we are processing the keyboard keys just come to the keyboard keys processing where we are going to um, handle the uh, exit key enter key uh, page down key and page up key so uh, in case of load of the file we don't need to do the page up and page down handling so for enter key handling we can do it optionally uh, so that our uh, so file should work better in case uh, if uh, someone presses enter onto the keyboard so just come here if f3 is pressed then that case f3 will program will sit on by setting the last indicator as on if in case uh, if in case enter is pressed means if in03 is not equal to on in0 40 is not equal to on means page up is not pressed page down is not pressed and uh, so if these are not on in that case we are passing the SFLRN current RN to the SFLRN means uh, enter key has been pressed so this is optional SFLRN to show current RN here Now we'll do the page down handling here. So page down is if star in 50 is pressed means is it's on. And if so first of first thing we do is we are setting this as off after entering into the loop. Then we are simply loading calling the load subroutine so this is done load subroutine after loading gets done we will be displaying the soft file so this is uh, is down handling So that, that this is very easy. We don't need to do anything here for this one. Now the main thing comes here, which is the page up handling. So you need to understand this clearly, so that you could this you could build a single piece of file uh, by your own. That matter. Look into this code very. Um, Really, so that you get the better understanding. So in this case, uh, we are pressing uh, indicate uh, page up keyword. Uh, page up keyword. So it means that 40 indicator gets on in that case because we have set the 40 indicator with that case with that uh, keyword page up keyword. So if this is on, if star in 40 equals to star on means page up is pressed and if, so this is the block for the page up uh, condition so if this one is pressed so first thing what we do is we will setting this as off off now what we are doing now suppose we have pressed the page up and uh, um we just come to know that the end of file has been so end of file has been reached so first condition we will do is we will check in the eof of file end of file condition so in that case if end of file is get gets reached so, so in that case uh, indicator 99 star in 99 if star in 99 is equal to on which will be get set as on in case uh, once load gets executed before this one so after loading and then displaying uh, the indicator 99 will be on 
in case of um, so file uh, end of file now if this is on so what we are doing this is end for this one now what we are doing uh, in case end of file has been released so we need to reset we, so once we press page up we need to read the file again uh, from uh, and we need to set the pointer back so for that purpose what we are doing we are setting the set ll setting the set ll pointer to the last record rrn of the file so last record rn will be uh, fetched from total records to the r student so so we have set the pointer to this one now we need to do some calculations here so because we have certain cases suppose we have four number of uh, eight uh, uh, eight number of records in the sub file or we have 11 number of sub uh, records in the sub file and sfl page is four so in that case we have four number of records in the first page it then again four number of records in the second page but three num uh, three records in the third page so in that third page we have three records so once we press page up we need to move the pointer back till 7 not 8 because we have only three records at the last page and we have four records in the previous page so 4 plus 3 equals to 7 so in that case we need to move uh, 7 back backward to the file point we need to set the pointer uh, 7 back to the file but in case uh, if you have 444 four, four, 12 records in the file then we need to set the uh, pointer back to 8 uh, 8 back to the file sure so in this case so for that purpose we are using the reminder uh, of code here so we will be declaring it later reminder equals to percent rem total uh, records that have been loaded colon sfl size Sure. So in this case, if reminder is not equal to zero, then we are taking up again a variable uh, which is set pointer variable as zero, setting this as zero first thing, then set pointer will be. set as set pointer will be set as reminder reminder plus sfl size mean suppose reminder is 3 and sfl size is 4 so, so we will be moving that pointer 7 back sfl size show sure. else Is and if if I send if else set pointer as SFL size multiplied by two. So in that case we need to set that as SSI that is 4 into 2 8 so in, we need to move back for the pointer as 8 not 7 so these are the two conditions which uh, for which we need to do some calculations so we will be declaring these two variables uh, above in the program later after doing uh, the coding for this part now we will be checking if uh, uh, suppose uh, there are cases like right, 
check if first page is the first page of the file already displayed already displayed is the state and pressed page up means you are on the first page and you are pressing the page up So you are on the uh, first page uh, and you are pressing the page up for that matter uh, we will be recalling that indicator that is 98. So for that matter what we are checking if total records suppose you are on the first page so you have total records as SSL size means 4 minus and for that matter you have set pointer as 8 so, so 4 minus 8 is less than 0 if less than 0 means you are on the first page right now you are pressing page down for that man for that case you are doing that 98 as Else if in case you are on the second page suppose and you are pressing the page up so total uh, recalls would be 8 in that case minus set pointer would be same in that case is equals to 0 means you are on the second page and you are pressing the means on second page and pressing page up to display first page page what you are doing here is we are setting the total records as zero setting the total records as zero now once uh, you do you um, are doing that thing uh, in case of uh, this one on second page you are pressing page up and displaying the first page so you will be setting the pointer at the first RRN of the sub or the, or, or the file student And then you are executing the subroutine, those subroutines. So this is the thing that you need to do. So after uh, loading this that uh, uh, subroutine, so you will be again uh, calculating that total records. Then the attack will be four on the first page. Once the first page has been loaded, the total records will be four again. Sure. So now that has been loaded. What we do? Uh, we'll be again setting that 98 add on so that we could not do the page up again. Loaded first page. Cannot do page up. Deactivate this. Activate page up. So for that matter, we are doing 98 as on and if for this, so 
so in else part what we are the is doing so uh, else part is the uh, another case means uh, if we are not on first or uh, second page so we are either on third or fourth or fifth or any any page so once we are pressing the um, page up we need to move backward so we are re doing the read p there for that case uh, so for doing the read p or setting the pointer to the previous position uh, we are again using that loop keyword loop index and we are just do executing the loop till less than equal to set pointer so that we could move the pointer back to the previous position and then read the records again so we are doing read p r student and then since we are moving the pointer back so we are also decreasing the total records that have been loaded now inside this loop we are incrementing the loop by index by 1 and do so this uh, the pointer has been set in this case to the previous position now uh, what we are doing uh, we are executing that load subroutine again so this is the thing for this is the logic we need to build here so we are declaring that reminder and set pointer which is left pointer to file so we are uh, compiling this program using source debug as this so we are getting error just see what the error is The name or indicator is not defined. Uh, it is saying that set pointer is not defined. Set pointer. Set pointer, set pointer. Okay, this is the spelling was wrong. Pointer. Now this has been corrected. Now just compile it again. Again, there is some issue compilation just do that
total this is not found just compile this oh, sorry total total records this is total records sure total records uh, student now this has been corrected so compile this with the source this session right now oh, that's not so much this time login again so clear so this was the program so now i am debugging this file for pgm so should I call this first then we will be debugging that program so I am calling this so we have loaded the first set of records now pressing page up will saying that function key not allowed because there are no prior records to be loaded now page down will uh, just show the preview, uh, next page next number of records so now press enter so after pressing enter we are on the same page not moving to any other page because there is no page prior further that could be navigated through this because we are clearing the file then we are loading the file and then we are displaying the file here so we have always four number of record that is sfl page number of records and the sub file single page sub file now pressing page down will come down uh, moving it here page up page up page up no prior records no page down page down no further records so we are not showing the message here in this scenario uh, here uh, the page down keyword is deactivated now page up page down is activated so we could do page up now page down page down deactivated because the last uh, end of file has been reached now page up page up now page up has been deactivated because no prior records to be shown enter page up page down enter three so we have seen that the sub file is working fine fc is working fine enter is working fine page down is working fine and page up is working fine with the load all single page sub file so this is what we have achieved we have changed the load also file to a single page sub file in just a matter of change in the load all code load all sub file code so now just debug this quickly strdbg sub file pgm o stius press point at one call sub file pgm o so first thing what uh, we are doing initializing initializations of routing gets executed sfl rin is one right now total number of records is zero now loading the records so setting these indicators as of RRN is now 0 so now clearing the sub file by setting the indicator 20 
is on and then writing the subfile file recall control recall format and again setting the indicator 20 is off so that uh, uh, we could not display the empty sub file because that if this gets uh, left on the sub file will be cleared always loop looping till sfl page reading the student file So 30 gets on and the sub file format we just check evm number m number is one so this is for the non keyed file basically again rn gets two total number of records rn is two total number of records is two Writing the sub file record and then this is three and this is four and, and coming out of loop then we have set the indicator 98 as on because page up is deactivated at the first page writing the sub file control form and oppressing page up now it is deactivated we cannot do page up on the first page now pressing page down will again uh, the control goes into the debug now processing the keyboard keys f3 is not pressed off 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 and this is on so means enter is not pressed page down is pressed so page down case we will be setting is our it as off then we are initialized again loading the next number of records so now check vv amp number should be 5 5 yes sure fifth record has been loaded now you can see that rrn is 1 but total number of records is 5 so it will be looping till 4 4 times out of loop and then will display the sub file control so and now um, again page now we are on second page so once we do page up here so we are doing the page up so it will come in this section so end of file is not reached right now so we'll be calculating the remainder as which is 0 so we are setting the pointer as 8 so total records is 8 and we are on the second page so we will be coming here on second page pressing page enter so we are coming here total record set is 0 then set we have set a little the onto the first record of the file now we are again loading and we will be loading till Fourth, so we are setting this F point here and F12 is skipping the debug right now. Again, setting the indicator 98 hour as on because we have loaded the first page again. So we cannot do the page up on the first page. Now it will display the file. Now press page up. So page up is deactivated. Page down, page down will again go to the handling for the page down keys. So this will, will be skipping the load button. Now it will again load this one. Next page that that is eight. Now page down again. Again goes to the put page down section. So what we are seeing that is come down. We are reading. EVM panel is 10 right now. Our RN is 3 total records is 11. 
so there is no further records in the file no further records to page on end of file reads 99 gets on will be leaving the loop case the last page has been uh, displayed now when we press page down since indicator 99 has set to on we cannot do page down page down key is deactivated right now now page up so once we press page up again goes to the process keyboard key section so now we can see that the the end of file has been raised for that one so so for reading the prior records again and loading the page 2 we need to set the set uh, the pointer to the last uh, RRN of the file to the set uh, with set LL and then we are again calculating the remainder so here remainder comes is 3 because total records are 11 and sub file size is 4 sub file size is 4 actually so remainder is 3 so in this case set pointer will be 7 so we will be moving the pointer back till 7 so in this case total records minus set pointer will be greater than 0 so we will be going into the else part loop till 1 till 7 so we will be setting the pointer back okay. so just see eval amp no 10 loop incremented read p again eval amp no 9 so we are doing this till set pointer value gets reaches And Peno is 4. Now we reach to the fourth. Now we are loading the subfile again. So since we need to read the fifth record uh, that is on the second page, we are clearing the subfile. We are again loading the subfile. We have M Peno 5th. Now please down, skipping this one. F10, F10, F10. Now we have displayed the page 2 press p f3 going to this one so we have seen that uh, um, we have handled the page up page down enter and, and exit keys uh, properly and they are working properly as well so we need to take care of those moving the pointer backward in the file or setting out at, at the first rn setting at the last rn and then moving prior uh, uh, case so we have seen that how we can convert a load all subfile into a single page subfile by just came, uh, changing the few uh, code not much code and uh, this is actually a uh, um, you can say that this is actually based on a non key file which is another uh, benefit for uh, all of us that we have seen it of how we can um, create a single piece of file on a non key file so this is all in this video uh, thank you and have a nice time and please don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks and have a nice time again